Welcome. Filthy kitchen cooking with the squadron. The washing machine is making a lot of noise, so I'm going to close that door. And today we are going to get busy with the eggs. Yeah, eggs, people. Little uh, update from a previous video those uh, steaks with the bacon grease, my god, delightful. Ooh, yeah. Wonderful. Very, very tasty indeed. But today we are cooking eggs. I got four eggs and with cheese. Yeah, here's the cheese. I did my 600 calories on the bike to, uh, yesterday, so I'm happy about that. It was actually early this morning, but I'll count that as yesterday because I plan to do the same today. All right, so I got the pan nice and clean. Pan is on the burner. Got some butter for the pan right here. Got my eggs, got my little bowl. No, I'm not going to use this bowl. I like the round bottom bowls when it comes to doing the eggs. These bowls have a nice round bottom. I don't know what these bowls are called. They're probably noodle bowls compared to the soup bowls that we usually see with flat bottoms. Anyway, that's what I would think of these as more noodle type bowls. Personally, I don't really eat noodles very often. I uh, try to avoid the grains as much as possible. However, I did eat a box of Honey Nut Cheerios that was given to me from my father. So I did eat that. Sadly, it only took me like two days to eat a whole box of uh, Honey Nut Cheerios, but that's it. It was easy. I didn't have to cook. And it was something different, so once in a while. I know I said it in a previous video that I probably only eat cereal like once a year and it wasn't long ago that I had a box of Fruit Loops. However, <clears throat> someone gives you a free box of cereal. What are you going to do? I know what I'm going to do because I did it. I'm going to eat that cereal. And my father also gave me a uh, big bag of raisins so I've been enjoying some of these raisins as well. All right, now, I think I need a little bit more butter. The pan is not exactly covered. So that should do it there. Now, we got a couple of forks clean. If you think I gotta wash the dishes today, you're absolutely right. I'm mashing down, breaking the yolks, and now I'm just whipping the eggs. I'm not exactly whipping the eggs. When you whip something, generally what you're doing is you're adding air to it, making it bubbly. I'm just mixing them. Beating them, beating the eggs, that's it, beating the eggs. Now, if I added some milk and beat them, I would probably kind of be whipping them more, whipping some air inside. All right.
right, these, uh, the pan is ready, but I wanna mix these up a little bit more, so I'm gonna increase the vim and vigor, the elbow grease, speed. I don't wanna burn the butter. So right in the pan goes the eggs, yeah. And I'm probably gonna use up the rest of the cheese. And since I have no cheese on standby, I'm probably gonna to have to go to the supermarket, get me some more cheese. Pepper, put some pepper on those eggs. And cheese right here. Yep. I think I, I got a little bit too much cheese for four eggs, but not really enough to save. So these are probably gonna be cheesy eggs. These eggs are gonna be on the cheesy side. So laundry's being done, the dishes will get done. I like to actually get some more cleaning done to the house. That would be nice, tidy up. I think I will visit my mother at some point today. She's just up the road, so. I will probably do that. All right. Now, I'm pretty sure I watched a spatula, but I guess I didn't. So, I will see if I have a clean spatula lying around, otherwise I'm going to have to wash one. It does not appear to be a clean spatula, so I'll just wash this one. Excuse me while I step out of frame. Very inefficient way to clean dishes one at a time, but being a single man living alone takes forever to fill the dishwasher. And even though all my dishes are pretty well dirty now, I still, I guess I don't have an excuse for why I don't fill the dishwasher and do a load of dishes, but I will do that today. This spatula will be dirty very soon. All right, got my spatula, got my plates, got some steaks there that I'm going to cook later. Get ready to fold over this omelet type thing I got going on. It's just eggs, cheese, and pepper. I don't know if that qualifies as an omelet, but what else are you going to call it? All right, that folded nicely. When I ate my steak last night, a few hours ago, I was going to cook some eggs and have the eggs with the steak, but I didn't. I enjoyed the steak by itself, and I really enjoyed it. It was a lovely steak. It was a more expensive cut of meat than I usually buy, 
because it was short dated. So I got it on sale and uh, then I cooked it in that delightful bacon grease which added even more wonderful flavor. So I have to say the past two steaks I ate were more expensive cuts. <coughs> That's the pepper. And um, cooked in bacon grease, so they were a real treat. And prior to that, if you've been following, it's been a while since I actually fried a steak. Uh, past, prior to these two that I fried, the previous four I broiled. You can check out the videos on that. And uh, I've got two steaks here now warming up to room temperature. It's probably going to take a few hours for that to happen. It's quite chilly here. But I will probably broil those steaks later. I don't know if I'm going to uh, fry them or not. I'm thinking I'll broil these two. Anyway, these eggs are just about done. They're still cooking so I can take them off the heat and put them on the plate. They'll still cook for another few minutes while they cool down a bit. I don't want to burn them or overdo it. So yeah, I think I will get a plate and call this breakfast or whatever. Yeah, check it out. Wonderful. Wonderful, quick and easy. Well, thank you for spending some time with me while I cook these eggs. I hope you enjoyed spending the time with me. I certainly enjoyed spending the time with you. No knives. I got this knife. I'll use this. It's a weird knife. Actually, there's another one. This is also a weird knife. This knife's very blunt, but it should be able to cut those eggs. Anyway, thanks for uh, hanging out. Who loves your baby? This guy. Don't forget it. And uh, yeah, remember, you're somebody's favorite person in this world. Probably mine. So I'll put up a video a little later today. Not sure what it's going to be. I might even do some reading. So, till next time, love you. Goodbye.